come on. I'm just going to net this one, people. I'm going to tune that light down a tad because it's like half of Birmingham City. Got to be a bit careful because I don't know how these big feet fit. These fit hard, really. I didn't think it was going to happen, but it has. Finally, finally. Let's get it on the map and we'll show you people. Oh, there we go. Mr. Tench. Nice big fat one. Wowie. That's what I was waiting for. I'll tell you what, peeps, let's get that camera straight. This is a nice fish, you tell me. I'm cool in it, if you'll lay still. Other side of five, I don't think he'll go six, but what a beaut, look at that. Let's get him in the lens, full length. I mean, <laughs> oh dear. Did I ever doubt it was gonna happen? Oh yeah, so it's four tench, but the other three, or two were tiny. That's a cracker, boys. I can get it back. I could get another bait out fast. That was a bunch of maggots on a barbless hook with a tiny piece of rubber band to stop the maggots coming off. Whoopee. In part one of my search for the giant green fish of Britain, you saw me set up, get my rigs, get my bait, get everything set up. It was slow fishing. And then, then, it got dark. Wow, don't switch off guys, there's a lot more fish coming. Really pleased with that one. It's bizarre, you know, with tension, you just don't know, but you've got to do what the Americans say. They have a saying, be there when they bite. And that's what you've got to do with fishing a lot of the time, depending on what species it is. And in the case of the tench, dawn, dusk, night, middle of the day, generally, it's a no-no. So, it could be a sleepless night. Got my jacket on now. Another guy with the light on non stop over there. Um, mine on or off? It's absolutely as still as still as you could want. The wind's gone, the air movement's gone. I phoned wifey just to get the full, full legal clearance, <laughs> and uh, all good there. She said it's very muggy there, so no, it's quite cool here, but I mean, I just put a hoodie on. Get your hoodies from Mike Pullen, support us. Um, I don't want to say, because I'm fishing sort of old school with the washing up bottle tops, but they're red. I used to paint them white, but before that we used, we used to use silver paper. So the last fishing trip I had, I made some up from the old sandwich wrapper, you know, baking foil. Folded it all up like we used to, but what we also do, we used to bend a flange on it 
so that when you put a head torch on it like this, or indeed the light from the indicator would reflect off of that and you could see exactly immediately which one it was. Now, because I, I do realise that modern times, 35 years ago, you just get an isotope and put it on there. Well, that's fine, but old school, we just had, we didn't have bivvies, they weren't invented. It was an umbrella, maybe a luxury would be a piece of plastic over the top of it, and then just bits of silver paper. So I am on silver paper at the moment, I'll see if I can show you. I do not speak with forked tongue people. Right, that's the camera off, that's the camera on. Obviously it lights everything up. Now I'm just going to leave it with my head torch, watch. That's off, this is really low light. Immediately I can see those. Middle power, M power, and I'm miles away from it. I'm probably nine feet away from those bobbins. So don't neglect silver paper, but with the angle folded back, just there. So from where I sit, when I put my head torch on, it bounces back. And of course they weigh absolutely next to nothing. On again guys. I actually put the hook size up a bit, so I could put a bigger worm on. Could be a mess. Could be a mess here. It's going well. I'll take the mess if I get the fish out of it. Oh, it feels like a mess. Going through the water. Oh, yes. There you go folks, another clonking great big Hawcott tench. There he is, that's a nice fish. So you can see there, what we used to call his little red eye gem. <laughs> Anybody know where that's from? Let's see if we can get a lift out of this one. A lot more calm than the uh, common carp. So here we go. I go in five pounds. I'd say it's five pounds that one. That's why up the hook size guys have no trouble with that mouth there, have they? Beautiful fish. I do like the tench. Tench and barb, what's the last little bit of England we got left, isn't it really? Well roach as well I suppose. Bit of like catfish but they're forward aren't they? Let's get him back. Quarter to twelve at night. Night is young, that's a saying, isn't it? Well, it appears the... Oh, nearly. It appears the rud and the perch obviously don't go through the night, but you hear those little beeps. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. I don't get too panicky with one beep. If you just have one beep, it could be a lion bite, which is when a fish moves between your rod top and bumps into the line somewhere in 20 or 30 yards, however long you're casting. So I don't get too panicky with just one beep. What you're looking for really is a long so it's moving away and you can strike into it. So when you just get one beep, you know, sort of be aware as it were, because it could be a drop back bite as well. But generally, I find, my experience, one beep, maybe, maybe two, it could be wind, it could be something on the line where the uh, rod top enters the water, you know, where the line goes into the water, a piece of weed, something like that. Or it could be, or it could be a small fish, one hopes. But you heard then how the, uh, 
the run, as it were, was not just one beep. I was waiting and waiting for it to actually pull up. I don't know what it is. Whatever it is. It's in the bushes. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Well, I miss that one. It came off winning. <laughs> it went in the bushes. So this is what I've been catching on. This golf ball feeder. And if you'll notice, although I missed that bite, I still got the worm on there. What's left of it and a bit of tweak because I've got that little tiny miniature piece of rubber band on there. Which is indeed just there. And of course, I can take it off, put it down where I can find it, and reload and cast out again. It's that time again, boys. This one does feel a bit of a chunky one. I'm playing from back here so I can talk to you, but I've barely got a turn on the reel since I struck. So it's about 35 yards out, just digging. I don't think I'm in weed. Very, very slow coming in. It's way out on the surface. Good, solid, smooth take. Not those single beeps. Just gone with it. Oh, and that's weed. I might have got him out. I might have got him out. I might have to go uh, further down to play this one, boys. I don't want to lose it. Have a look. Wow. Wowie this. That's a chunk and a half. I thought that was a good scrap on that one. Matt time. Come and meet my friend Matt. That's a nice one. Look at the belly on that. Calms down, hang on a minute. Normally pretty good tension they check that one. A lump and a half. Well pleased. People wonder why we keep looking to the right, it's because the monitor's there, so that's the only one. So if I look straight at the camera, 
I have to try and look guide it like this to get it in the monitor. So big I can't get it in the frame. What a thing to say that is. So big I can't get it in the frame. And the old classic pose used to be sideways like that, didn't it? Looking at it like that. Mustn't smile if you're a specimen hunter. Oh my God, don't ever smile if you've got a big fish. You're not supposed to be happy, you know. <laughs> I'm always happy. I am now. Wow, let's turn the session around. Wow. It's coming up. One o'clock in the morning. It's, uh, it's, it's not why I say it's slowed, it's been fairly consistent. But it's just starting to drizzle a little bit. So I'm thinking of, uh, won't be going to sleep tonight, because it's not going to happen, is it? Can't afford to uh, to miss fishing like this. This sort of standard of fishing. This way, I can lay here. Just keep out of the little bit of light rain. Gonna have to take the camera in here. And um, obviously, I've got a long drop on the bobbins. And I got backwind on the wheels now before I was just setting the hook straight on those fish as the bobbin went up with striking like old school like we used to. But we used to set up all night, literally all night, you know, fishing like this. Just an umbrella, a chair. If you're luxury, you put a blanket or a piece of plastic over your shoulders <laughs> if you drizzle. Silver paper, <laughs> just like now. It's just, it makes me bit nostalgic for the times when I think how many fish I mean I didn't even start fishing when I was a kid it's like 60 years ago can you imagine what it was like 20 years before that how many fish there must have been and now it's just hard well there's loads of carp we know there's loads of carp because obviously they're stocked but the what I call the natural fish tench roach rudd barbel Yes, I missed that one. You can see, even just being in here, where I had the chair there before, right by the rods, as that bobbin accelerated up, wham, I was on a fish. Just the fact that I'm back on the bed chair. It's not like carp fishing, is it? You know, they don't just hook themselves and pour line off and just, <gasps> out we go, you know, it's, it's a bit different to the old tench. You can tell that there. But I'm going to get tired in a minute and I want to make sure that I'm ready for dawn. I don't want to put my... Should I put my... I don't think I need to put my clock on as an alarm at dawn. Surely to God I won't be asleep. It could go dead and then I would be asleep. But I feel they're going to wake me up. Oh, the minute I lay down... Oh, it's going to go. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you what else I do. I leave the head torch on, not not switched on, just on my head for when I get out. Oh, absolute churner, guys. The reel was spinning. Guys, I think, I think, I don't know what you think, I think it's even bigger. I think they're really nice big tents, look. Fives, all fives, fives pluses, you know, that's what they seem to be. Don't smile. Bigger fish, the women to smile. 
sense of humour at two o'clock in the morning. I love it. Let's get him back. I'm sort of hoping this one stays round the right, guys. Let's tune that light down. I gather there's no chance of getting any sleep. Feels like a smaller fish, this one. The size of these fish, huh? Hopefully, I'll drop the camera in the water. Here he goes. Things they don't look very big in the water, do they? How big was that one I did see? I haven't filmed them all guys, but this is number 11. It's cold now, so... It's cold now, so I'm wrapped up this one. If you hold still. Okay. Oh, this has got a big tail on it. Check it out. That's five of anybody's money, maybe six. What a super fish. Well pleased. So number 11 still going strong. I haven't had a wink of sleep, it's four o'clock in the morning. Happy days. Happy nights. Oh, the size of these fish. Getting all these jumpy bites now, guys. So the rudder back on. It's dawn. I'm not sure <clears throat> I can take all the rud. Twitchy bites, as you can see. I've gone on back one again. It's uh, 4.45. Oh, dear. I'm knackered. Hold up. Well, what can I say? I'll always be, I'll always be glad when it's finished. I've had 14 tench. I cannot believe that 14 tench. What a turnaround from yesterday afternoon when I rocked up. Nothing on the left hand one. That's weird because that's, you know, the one I had out banking that. Uh, I'll get a big fish on it. I oh, have some nice fish, loads of fives and sixes. But now I fear a bit of a thumping headache coming. <clears throat> you can see out there though, you can see out there what a setting. As still as you could want. Peaceful at the moment. Tempted to throw that other one out somewhere different, to be honest. I'm sort of over on the point there, but the trouble is, oh, here we go. Brr, 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 look, 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 look. See this rad? That's not tench. Oh dear. Up and down, up and down. See, tench will hold it up. That's just dropping back under the weight of the silver paper itself. So pulling up, dropping back, pulling up, dropping back. Look, the tench might get hold of it, but it doesn't go on back one. Still, a small fish is hooked up there. Or I'd say a rudder or something. Yeah, nothing there, you see. I think I'm going to change these rigs over. <clears throat> Might even wind them in, to be honest, people. Strange it may seem. And just leave this uh, boilie on the left. 
I don't need to be catching a rut. I could do with a couple of hours sleep. Guys, I don't know what's uh, I don't know what's happening here. I've been asleep. I've got like a hundred yards of line out on the body rod. I've just got to wind in to cast out. And I've got a fish that's cranking along out there. What are you going to pick my other line up? I've no idea whether it's a tench or what it is. Probably going to get my other line. Here he comes. It's another tench. It is a big one on a boily. Check this out. I'm falling over, I'm so tired. Finally, a big tench on a boily. Just tick this one out. This is a PB for me. This is the biggest male tench I've, I think I've ever caught. That's ridiculous. What a session. Please check that one out as a male tench. Look at the size of it. Absolute lump there, is it not? That really is one of the best sessions I've had. Let's get this guy back in the water. What an amazing trip. I think I'll come to Hawcott again. It's not bad for day ticket water, is it? That's a big fish. And this one's still beeping. I'm absolutely cream crackered. 15 tench, I thought I'd just wake up. I've got still beeps going on here, but I'm pretty sure they're rad. 15 tench of that size, I mean, that is literally totally awesome tench fishing. Well, I suppose you guys want an update. I had to go to bed at 5.15, I <laughs> couldn't take any more. At that stage I'd had 14 tench, you saw the size of them, absolute units. I put one boily out, in the, in the swim, moved it from the other side, moved it in the swim, and I just left it there. Nothing. 10 to 9 in the morning, I thought I'd better get up. I did indeed get up. I thought I'd move the rod from here over there. I start winding and I thought, I'm three quarters of the way across the lake. What's going on there? On the end is that Kachunking great big male tench, which is definitely my PB male tench. I've never caught one that big before. And now I've got a brew going, as you can see. I feel... So I rephrase that I had a brew going. I think the gas bottle has expired, finally. So what I don't get my head around, or can't seem to, is the lack of fizzing and bubbles. I must have been talking about fizzing and bubbles in my sleep last night. But it's what tents do when they're digging around on the bottom. Uh, I thought that was some, but that's a patch of weed. There are bubbles out there, but they're nowhere near my baited swim. And there's a mass farther out, so I don't know whether to wind in my feeder rod here with worm. I've got one worm left after this and put it out there, just lob it in the middle of nowhere and just hope they stumble across it. So they're definitely not on the feeding area at the moment. What a session I've had. I think I'm going to pack this bivvy up and hope it doesn't rain. I have got an umbrella to keep my gear and then I'll give Les my delivery service a ring. Good old Les with his buggy will come round and hopefully ferry all this stuff back. In the meantime, here we go with the old steam engine. Music to the ears of many a fisherman. 
Right guys, I'm all done. The rudder's is still going crazy down there, so I thought I'd be last a bit baiting. So thanks for watching the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. Hit the subscribe button, both channels, TA Fishing, TA Outdoors. Whew, I'm knackered, I can't wait to get back here for some more tench. Tench of that standard, they're worth driving for. See you next time. Yeah.